Hey, this is Lonnie, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own Kodi build and all the functionality and how to create them. like sort of my own skin, but we'll start from a new fresh copy of Kodi, and then I'll show you how to create categories, how to add your subcategories connected to widgets. These are widgets. and actually how to load repositories, what repositories are, and how to basic install things onto Kodi and get them working like backgrounds also. So we're going to start with this skin which is called Aeon Nox Silvo and I'm going to tell you how to get it in the next video. But let's just go over a couple of things. So there's repositories. And what's a repository? A repository is basically where some of the applications are stored and you might have to install many repositories to get all different applications because they're all over the place on the internet inside different places so what is a repository it's basically a collection of files that other people or yeah that other people actually maintain on their own web servers and the way to get that is to basically find out where their server is, type in the URL, and then grab their repository zip file, download it into Kodi, and Kodi will set it up as a repository. Then you can go inside the repository once it's installed and find out what add-ons you could download from there. So we're going to spend a, quite a few... Uh, quite a few repositories we're going to install on the build, get a few add-ons, make a couple of sections like this, and then we'll just go on from there. The one thing I want you to do is actually to open up your browser. And go to codytv.com. I mean Kodi.tv, sorry. Then click on the downloads page. And then grab the Windows installer of 16.1, not the 17, the 16.1. Install that onto your machine because it's a lot easier to work on these files when you get it. If you already have your own Kodi ins installation, um, either reinstall Kodi or follow my next steps in the the next video on how to clean your Kodi for a clean installation. I'll see you on the next video.